Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be using this pen set. This is the Akashia Sai watercolor brush pen set. I think that's how you say it. Um, I was given some credits from jetpens.com and I asked on Facebook what you guys would like me to try out and this was one of the suggestions. So I've played with these a little bit before this video. Not a whole lot, just, you know, just testing them out a little bit. And so I thought I'd play with them on camera and give you my thoughts. So the pens or markers have a really fun detailed cap like this. And the thing that's really, really nice about these is that when you uncap them and go to cap them, they go on okay and then you have to really press down until it kind of snaps. And it also will only fit back into this tray if the cap is on completely. So that's a really great feature to make sure they don't dry out. So most of the time um, when I'm doing coloring on this YouTube channel, I'm showing you how to color stamped images. So I thought I would try that out first. I'm using the brown marker and I just added color to areas on this image that would be the darkest. And now I'm adding water and kind of painting that all in. This image is from Mama Elephant. It's from the Bear Hugs stamp set. And I've stamped the image in some waterproof ink. This is stays on jet black ink so that I can add water on top of it. So the thing that really stood out to me while I was coloring this image was that the color from the pen or the marker stays very, very vibrant. Unlike other watercolor mediums that tend to dry back and they kind of fade as they dry, this one stayed very intense the entire time while I was painting it and then even after it dried. I did attempt or try doing some coloring onto a laminated piece of cardstock so it was a slick surface. I just colored that on there and then pulled the color in from there. So you can see that bear up in the top corner, that is completely dry. And I love that the color stayed vibrant and was very smooth. It was, they're kind of really fun. I didn't try a whole lot of mixing colors on an image. I did a little bit on that flower, but um, I really loved the effect of that brown. So I think for the most part, what I'm going to be using these markers for is to do some writing. And you can add a little bit of water on top and kind of fade out the color around that writing and it gives you a different effect. You can also color onto a slick surface and then pick up that other color with a different color, which is what I did with these two blues here. I picked up the darker blue with the lighter blue pen. So I'm going to do a just, you know, a little saying here that says do something creative every day. And of course, um, as you can tell, all of this is sped up. It's not in real time. This definitely takes a little bit longer. But I wanted to try using some different colors. And I really love the look that this gives. These markers don't just have a felt tip brush tip or felt brush tip. It's an actual brush tip like with bristles and things like that. So you do get that skip on your letters or as you're drawing, which is really, really cool. It really does look like you're using an actual brush that you're dipping into ink or into paint. And the thing that's also really cool is that because this ink kind of uh, reactivates or activates with water, you can go over your letters with a watercolor brush and kind of get some different variations in color. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm smoothing things out. I think it gives it a real watercolor look. It looks like I've actually used watercolor paints to write that quote. So I'm doing that thing here with uh, that I showed earlier with the blues where I added some purple to this pink pen. And then as I draw and write, it pulls the purple out and you get a gradient look. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, it's particularly fun when you're writing out words or small sentiments like this. Then I thought I'd just pick up some of that color and um, paint it out with a regular paintbrush. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys is the alphabet. I'm just gonna write out you know, A to Z really quick, um, just really, casual. This isn't anything in particular. I just thought it'd be fun to do the alphabet all together and show you guys um, what it looks like after I've added a little bit of water to it to smooth out all of those um, skipped edges with the with the brush. I think the brush gives a really cool look, but if you do want to have a little bit more color and make it look a little more watercolory, you can add water to these. I think it looks really, really neat. So the thing that's really different about these pens 
in comparison to like the stress markers or Tombow markers is the tip. It's an actual bristle, like a brush tip. It's really, really neat. And I also feel like the ink color kind of stays on the surface of the paper a little bit longer. So you get a little bit more variation in color when you start to add water. I think it's a really cool set. Um, it's kind of fun. Um, it'd be great for travel if you wanted to travel and add some watercolor to your um, kind of on the go uh, painting kit. So there is the Akashiya Sai. I think that's how you say it, watercolor brush pen set. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on Monday for a new Make a Card Monday video. Thanks for watching.